Hey everyone, up today we've got the ultimate gender changer. You've probably seen one of these. No doubt you've used one of these. Serial cables are always going to be with us with embedded systems. We can't escape it. It's just the best way to get into an embedded system really, really simply. Inevitably, you always have the wrong cable, whether it be male when you need female, female when you need nail, or of course you get burned by those null modem cables that have the transmit and receive lines swapped. Okay? So traditionally we have little gender changers or gender benders as we might call them. So simply plug it in boop, and you go from your male to female or female to male. Now that's great except you never seem to have the right one. They're never in place uh, or you'll come across a null modem cable and you need it swapped or you need it for this application and, and whatever. So what we've created is the ultimate gender bender. The device itself is really, really simple. Nothing complicated about this, it's just that no one has ever decided to build this. So you can see you've got four input terminals. You can also see some coloring on here. What that means is that these two terminals are connected directly together and these two terminals here are connected directly together. So if you're going across these from this region to this region, then you're gonna go through this switch. What the switch allows you to do is switch between uh, a null modem and a regular cable. So it just crosses the uh, conductors two and three. That's all it does. Sometimes uh, for a full null modem to straight conversion, you'd cross RTS and CTS and everything else. But for embedded systems, we typically only deal with the transmit and receive line. So this, in, in most cases, uh, solves that problem really, really quickly. So it's very, very easy. If you have a straight through cable and you actually really need a null modem cable, well, you can just run it through this and simply uh, flick that switch. Okay. So what this allows you to do is if you wanted to uh, use it in a classical gender changer sense then you would keep this switch in the non crossover point you'd plug in your male cable there and then of course you'd have female available out there right or vice versa plug in your female there and you have male there right so universally you can change all of those uh, genders right on the fly. Okay. Then you have the option of changing it to null modem. Okay? So same sort of thing. You could gender change and switch to null modem by going across. Or if you wanted to just switch to null modem, if you have a male cable that's a straight through cable, you could plug in here and come across here. So you go through the switch and you come out male there. right? So you, if you want to use a switch, remember you go from this region to this region. The other thing you can do is just simply use this as a cable extender. So you could come in here with your male cable or whatever cable and if you have another cable because you just need to get a bit further and you don't want to go through the switch to cross um, those lines, then you can come out this line as well here. Okay? And then you've got a full uh, way to uh, extend those cables to whatever you want. Of course you can't extend cables infinitely, you'll eventually lose signal integrity, uh, but for most things or most cases in the lab uh, you're probably good to go with doing that. Okay? So super simple device, no power required. You've got a USB or sorry a serial breakout there as well so if you want to quickly probe your lines you can always solder in there that's also handy and those are a hundred pitch um, spacing so you could even solder a uh, headers on there or something like that if you wanted to probe all your lines. So this is a really though simple, simple device. It's so, so useful. The days of these little things are gone. They're just no point uh, and they're practically the same cost. So pick up one of these, have a few around the office and I guarantee that you'll have, uh, make great use of it uh, in many, many times.